Welcome yeah. back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Hey, gay. So, I've got a special one today. A bottle of to kill you. This is Don Julio Reposado Double Cask. Finished in Lagavulin Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Limited edition. Do, do, do. Nombre. Consejo Regulador de Tequila. Fundado en la Primavera. So it says, in 1942, Don Julio Gonzalez founded his first distillery in Los Altos region of Mexico and created the world's first luxury tequila. Tequila Don Julio is a testament to his passion and dedication to superior craft and quality, a legacy that lives on today for our master distiller of tequila Don Julio. Don Julio Reposado Double Cask showcases unwavering devotion to excellence, furthering the craftsmanship of tequila Don Julio. The exceptional liquid is finished in cask which previously held Lagavulin, Isla, single malt scotch whiskey, resulting in a mar remarkable, remarkable, I can't read, depth of flavor with caramelized agave balanced with undertones of rich sherry, toasted oak, and smoky peat. Top noted with a touch of spiced orange rind and a hint of fig. Best served neat or on the rocks. Well, I'm excited because I am not a big tequila drinker. And I do, I, I like, I like the uh, Don Julio 70. I had it did quite a bit of it while I was in uh, Mexico. Uh, and I've been wanting to get into uh, some of the mezcals that I've seen and uh, just hadn't pulled the trigger. See now what I think they do on these, it is rested, it's a reposado, so that means rested. Añejo means aged, reposado is rested. This one is clear, so what I believe they do is refilter it to get the color out. So right now, smells like tequila. Bit of a smoky character. Let's see how she tastes. That's pretty good. You definitely get the the peatiness blended in with that agave. That ain't too bad. I might be able to switch some tequila drinkers over and ease them into scotch. That's a good sipping tequila. It's like the best of both worlds. Like tequila, I mean, what I get usually from tequila is that vegetal agave note. Very, very vegetal, very earthy. But this one, you get just a touch, touch of that peat smoke. It's actually pretty tasty. I like it. And it's only 40%, so I can drink a whole bottle of it and not be too drunk. <laughs> Probably have quite a bit of this uh, while you're watching this. This is a, it's a Wednesday night, uh, night before Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving Day, you got to watch uh, myself and Gene re-review the uh, Lafroy Cargis. Uh, yeah, 
So Friday night, we're gonna drink a lot and probably drink a lot of this. So I'll share it with everybody who comes over. Oh man, I did some bicep work today for the arm wrestling. Man. Gene was a little drunk the other night, or he was a little hungover, so we didn't do any arm wrestling. But I made up for it today. The more you drink of it, the more the, the peat smoke starts to come out. It's pretty tasty. Anyway, that's all I got on this one. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, I, I think if you're a fan of scotch and or tequila, I mean, this would probably be a good one either way. Or if you're a fan of scotch and you want to ease into tequila, this would be a good one uh, while it lasts. Limited, limited release. So pick it up while you can. So don't forget, check the description below for all the links to help out around here. I got uh, three mouths to feed, including my own. Uh, got the kitty. So I'm probably going to just, if I find some cute videos of Bonnie and the cat playing, I'll probably start and just put them at the end of every video instead of, uh, that'll be my new Easter egg. So, And uh, don't forget, check out the Bearded Idiots. So that's uh, short and sweet. I don't know where Bonnie's at. She's probably over there trying to get at the cat. But, oh well. Like always, folks, drink some whiskey, drink some tequila. Be safe. Hopefully everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Uh, have a happy holidays. And uh, y'all have a good night. Down the hatch.